Hello, Donna here. Welcome to my channel. In this basics tutorial, I'm going to show you how to attach a tie tack to a cured piece and then how to finish the back. Now, this is my drawing of Petey from the Little Rascals. I drew him on my iPad, then I made a copy, I transferred him, cured and painted him with Genesis paint. Now, after curing the Genesis paint, he's not ready. He's not ready for his pin back or in this case, is tie deck binding. Now you're gonna need, of course, a cured piece. You're gonna need Kato Clear Medium, clay for backing, a texture sponge, a tie tack, CA glue, scalpel or craft knife, your signature cane, and this is always helpful, a little acupuncture needle. Okay, so once you've assembled those materials, you're ready to begin. So I'm going to cut and I'll be back back again. All right, we're ready to start. Now, some of you might have a, a question as to why I'm using a tie tack instead of a pin back. Pin backs are wonderful, but you know what? It's also extremely hard to find a really good quality pin back. Now, this is a good quality pin back, and I bought this in a shipment from Germany. I cannot get them again. And all I seem to ever find are low quality, cheap pin backs. You, you can find them all over. So the solution for me was not to use conventional pin backs, but to move to tie tacks. Tie tacks don't seem to suffer from the same quality issue. So you can also find them pretty much anywhere. They're inexpensive and they're very, very secure. So that's why I have moved to tie tacks from pin backs. Here's Petey, he's ready. So I'm going to take and glue my tie tack to the back. In terms of positioning, of course, you don't want your tie tack to be dead center because if it is, you'll find that your pin will spin around the pin back. So make sure you weight it toward the top. Just press it for a moment to make sure that it really catches and that you are in fact gluing the tie tack to the clay. It's really possible to glue the tie tack to the glue, in which case you've not glued anything to anything and it will just break off or come off. Okay. Now we're gonna back Petey with black clay and this black clay was uh, made for my scrap and I added our blackout to it to make my scrap black. I love that product. It's quite, uh, it, you know, you take something that's basically considered garbage in your studio and you make it useful. And I, I happen to think that's environmentally a really good thing to do because uh, we don't need raw clay that nobody uses in uh, landfills. So blackout will turn your scrap clay black, perfectly usable. Now this has been rolled through setting number five on my machine, so it's quite thin. Because I want to save some time, I am going to take a texture sponge, put it on the clay, and feed them through the machine together. clay is textured. Raw clay, cured clay. I have to put some liquid clay on the back. Oh, now that is way too much liquid. Now I have a big pile of liquid clay off to my left. Learn from me, folks. Don't do that. I'm not sure 
why I thought that would work. Okay. But it's not a problem. Okay, so now PD's back is covered. I'm just going to take my clay and press it to the back, like so. Now, if you have any air pockets between PD, cured PD, and that uh, raw black clay, of course, you're going to get air bubbles. You're going to get little boink. So you want to avoid those, and that's where our little acupuncture needle comes in so handy. Because you're going to take that, and you're just going to pierce these tiny holes all over the back. And what you're doing here is you're allowing, or you're providing, an easy escape route for any air that might be between this black clay and the back of Petey. All right, so let's trim the excess away. Here's where the scalpel comes in. So you're just gonna take and scoot around to remove. I'm just gonna pull some of the excess off first. It's just easier to trim away if you don't, if you're not fighting all this excess clay. Okay. Now let's continue. And this is a cheap craft knife. It's really much better if you use a better quality cutting tool like a scalpel. I need to buy some scalpels. Now here is just a, a funny blade I got somewhere and I just set it in clay. So let's try this one and see if it's sharper, if it works out a little better. I think I better buy a scalpel, a real one. Not very happy with that. I think if you're a beginner, what you're going to find is that the proper tools can make all the difference in the world in terms of the ease with which you perform certain tasks. And, and I'm quite serious. This would be much easier and it would go much smoother if I had a really, really sharp scalpel. Okay, let's continue. I wonder how many of you don't know who this little dog is. <laughs> if you're a certain age, you will know him. And you'll remember watching the little rascals, oh my goodness. Now by holding my hand behind it, I'm actually um, keeping the clay on the back pressed against the uh, against PD. And if I don't have my finger there, I'm just a little bit afraid that the clay is going to stretch. And I don't want that to happen.
And I have to do that. Once again, I mean, I, I don't want to keep blaming the tool, but believe me, I'm going to tear through my studio and see if I have a scalpel here. Because this tool seems to be, the cutting edge seems to be pretty thick, and that thickness is not helping me. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. Now he's done. I will cure him face down on a clean tile like this. Actually, I'm going to put my signature on. So Petey's ready to be cured. Um, let me tell you, I do not preheat my oven. I will set my oven at 300 degrees and I will set my timer for 40 minutes and that will be fine for this thin, to cure this thin sheet of black on the back of the pen. Now, I hope you've learned something that maybe is useful in your own work. If you have any questions, please just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. I expect to get a lot more basic technique classes up, things that, um, particularly for people who are just beginning in polymer clay. Maybe I can answer some questions and save you some time. So thank you for watching and I hope you come back for uh, Cato Poly Clay, for Prairie Craft, and for Petey. I'm Donna Cato. Bye.